Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the voice of reason. Today, we are continuing our ongoing coverage of the war between the Russian Federation and Ukraine. Now, today, we want to have a, a close look at, uh, at, at two uh, issues that are happening within this conflict. Uh, the first issue is the ongoing Ukrainian offensive. An offensive that at this point does not seem to be faring very well. Is it a political offensive or is it a viable military offensive? The Ukrainians are expending vast amounts of donated material, and more importantly, manpower in this ongoing offensive, which is going to make it very, very difficult in the future if the Russian Federation decides to bring its full weight upon the entirety of Ukraine. And that's just the other issue that I wanted to talk about. Is Russia planning for a much more larger operation against the Ukrainians. Uh, the information that we have is leading us to believe that is the case. It appears to be that the, U the Russians are perfectly happy, they are accepting, to fix the battlefield in its current conditions and bombard Ukrainian frontline units with air power and long-range artillery and have the Ukrainians continue to launch these moderate-sized offensive operations against fortified Russian positions. Now, wh while that's happening, it is our understanding that the Russians are of the belief that this war is going to last at least three years that the Russian plan is to continue to build up and outproduce Western and the Ukrainian military. The question that has to be asked is what is the Russian military going to look like two years from now? Is that the plan? If the Russian armed forces number 1.5 to 2 million personnel two years from now, and the Ukrainians continue to exert itself along the front line, especially in the south, will the Ukrainians have the ability to withstand a full onslaught of a mobilized Russian army? Not now, not six months from now, but a year and a half to use two years from now? And the answer to that is probably not. Probably not. The Ukrainian state, the political apparatus in Kiev, is incredibly focused on the immediate retaking of Ukrainian territory that has been taken by the Russian Federation, specifically Zaporizhia, the land corridor, Crimea. These areas are the focal point of continued Ukrainian operations. Now, some would say that it's quite possible that the Ukrainians should pause. Pause, rebuild, and then maybe either talk to Russia actual negotiations, or then launch another offensive operation. But right now, uh, what's happening uh, along especially this southern front, south of Orkiv, is not helping the Ukrainian military. I believe at this point, they're falling into what Russia wants the Ukrainians to do, and that's expend forces and continue to wear itself down on these, these very robust Russian defensive lines in the south. 
Uh, we have seen some success by the Ukrainians, but success at vast cost, tremendous cost, near Robotna, east of Robotna. Uh, again, uh, the Ukrainians fully understand that they have to widen the salient in order for it to be successful. And it's very difficult right now for the Ukrainians to do that. They seem to be, after creating the salient, they seem to be bogged down and having some major difficulties in continuing to expand this salient. Therein lies the issue, did the Russians allow this salient to form? You have to ask that question. Because right now, again, things do not bode well for Ukrainian forces in this pocket. Uh, to the east, again, the, uh, U the Ukrainians attempted offensive operations just to the south of Staromaryorsky. Uh, they, they had limited success in taking the small village of Yerzhine. But after that, they have stalled. No further operations have taken place uh, with the focal point of all operations south of Orkiv. Uh, we continue to see a Russian buildup near and east and northeast of Kupiansk. Very large formation of Russian forces exceeding 100 to 150,000 troops being formed up in this area. But again, what is more disturbing for at least the Ukrainian side of this war is the long-term Russian strategy, the acceptance that this war is going to at le at le at last at least six years, or I'm sorry, three years. Could it last six years? Possibly. But right now, I think the Russian plan is to continue to build up for the next year, year and a half to two years, followed by very large-scale offensive operations by the Russian military. Now, will the Russians not conduct offensive operations in that year to year and a half to two year period it will however it is designed to fix and destroy ukrainian units on the line of contact the russian strategy right now is designed to sap the ukrainian military capability eventually destroy its morale and then again at a certain point launch mass offensive operations against the Ukrainians. That is the war right now the Russians have in mind. So we are continuing to watch things very closely in the south. Again, things seem to be stagnant. The Ukrainians continue uh, to try to elongate or, or widen the salient south of Orkiv. Uh, they are not having the same success, which leads me to believe that it's quite possible the Russians have allowed the salient to form to some degree. So we will continue to report. We will continue to monitor. Thank you for joining us today. And as always, have a good day.